Welcome back! Do you believe that it's already the beginning of the second week of the Overdrive? What happened to the time? Oh, and I hope that you guys have enjoyed watching them as much as I've enjoyed making them. But if you're new here and maybe you haven't seen the other ones, at the end of this video, I'm gonna link you to a playlist that has every single video that I've made so far in December, and I hope you enjoy it. A few days ago, I asked you what you would like to see in the Holiday Overdrive, and the very first answer that I received was asking me to talk about my five worst Christmas songs. And I think, after how much I've been singing in my last few videos, this is probably the most appropriate time for me to make this video. And don't worry, I won't sing in this one. Maybe. Number one, the 12 days of Christmas. If you're ever looking for proof that consumerism is kind of taking over the holidays, look no further than the lyrics of this song. I mean, first you look at it and you're like, Pff, that's only... Three hours later. 78 gifts? That's not too excessive. Well, actually, if you think that 78 gifts isn't excessive, then you clearly don't get paid a YouTuber salary. I don't even think I could afford to get 78 gifts from a dollar store. But see, that's where the math goes wrong. A lot of people who aren't really listening to the lyrics think it's only 78 gifts. But on the first day, you get one partridge. On the second day, you get two turtle doves and a partridge. And that keeps going day after day for 12 days through swans and geese and French hens and... Why the hell are there so many birds in that song? But anyway, it's actually 364 gifts. 364! That's a lot of bird poop. And the freaking golden rings. You know, that part that everyone sings as loudly and as off key as they can. I've heard this song probably six times already this year and every single time that part comes on, the only thing that I can think is they were clearly not ordered from Michael Hill or else they wouldn't have been delivered in time for this song to have even been written. I'm clearly a little bit bitter. Number two, Oh Christmas Tree. This one is simple. I just don't know the words. Straight up, every single year, I just sing Oh Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree Oh Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree Nailed it! <laughs> well, so much for that whole not singing thing. It lasted about two minutes. Okay, cool. I know some of you are gonna try to be really nice and you're gonna write the lyrics in the comments section and I promise if you do that, I will read them. I read every single comment, but be warned, I'm not gonna remember it. It doesn't matter, I could be holding the lyrics in my hand and I will still sing it that way. Number three, here comes Santa Claus. First, we need to talk about how Stephen King, the title of that song is. Here's Santa Claus. And second, where the actual F is Santa Claus Lane. And why does it have a direct connection to every road in the friggin' world? To me, this is like the Christmas equivalent of the wheels on the bus or the song that never ends. It's just the most grating song ever. And I know that the sound effects that I use are super, super low budget because they're free, but what the hell sound effect is thumpity thump thump? <laughs> Number four, Jingle Bells. Let me start off with, oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Have you ever been in a horse drawn sleigh in the middle of winter? It's cold and boring and you have nothing to do but stare at a horse's butt the entire time. You know what's not Christmassy? Watching a horse poop at a slow trot. Seems like more of a Labor Day event to me. And this song is so annoying that kids around the world have created a second version of it. I mean, it's equally annoying and it involves Batman, who's probably the least Christmassy character ever, but there's proof that someone tried to polish a turd. And number five, Last Christmas. Now, I know that some of you are playing a game where you wanna see how far you can go through the year without hearing this song. Don't worry, I'm not gonna play it. Don't turn off the video. But for those of you who don't know, Last Christmas is a song that is sung by a duo called Wham. And it talks about something horrible that happened last Christmas, but it's so depressing that it makes you want this year to be your last Christmas. It's that depressing. Now, I know that Christmas isn't a happy time for everyone. There are a lot of people around the world who go through intense depression and loneliness, but for those of you who don't, this is a song that will help to pull you down into your very own pit of anxiety along with the rest of the masses. Which now that I think about it, 
is probably the most unifying thing that we've seen in music in society. Is this the best Christmas song ever? My brain hurts. Hey, that was my top five worst Christmas songs. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And what do you think about my list? Do you agree with the list? Do you have any changes you would make to it? Let me know in the comments section down below. If you're new, click right there to subscribe to the channel. More episodes right down there, and I will see you very soon.